Picnic time for teddy bears. <laughs> Those little teddy bears are having a wonderful time today. <laughs> See them gaily play about. They love to sing and shout. <laughs> They haven't got any cares. But at six o'clock, their mummies and daddies will take them home to bed because they're tired little teddy bears. Good night. Dad? Uh, yes. Were all the bears there? Yes. All the bears that ever there was were there. Good night. Okay. Dad? How, how come the picnic ended at six o'clock if it was so good? I mean, it, it's not even dark at six. Uh, all the bears were tired from uh, frolicking. Oh. Frolicking's very tiring, son. Okay. Good night. What do what they, what they eat? Uh, well, the teddy bears ate uh, buttons and felt. Ooh. No, no, that's teddy bear food. Oh, uh, it's good. It's like hot dogs. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Were you even there? <laughs> What? No, I wasn't actually there. Well, then, then how do you know? A guy at work told me. <laughs> who? Hank. Hank who? You don't know him. Maybe I should call this Hank. No, no, I don't think that would be a good idea, son. Why? Because he doesn't have a phone. What? What kind of a freak doesn't have a phone? A freak that works in the mail room. Oh. Now go to sleep, please. Dad, I can't sleep trying to piece together this sloppy narrative. <laughs> Why don't you try uh, counting sheep? What? What, guy? How can you make me think of all those slaughtered sheep bloating in the sun? They were not slaughtered sheep, son. They're live ones bounding over your head. What? I thought they were dead. You didn't tell me they were alive. Dad, I was up all night tagging their toes. <laughs> What is oh. going on up there? <laughs> There, there. What is it? Yeah, Dad. Dad told me this teddy bear's picnic story that sounds like utter bull to me. <laughs> there, there. Just remember that your father loves you and I love you even more. Okay. And if you ever use that kind of language in this house again, I'm going to wash your mouth out with soup. Oh. Uh, I think that's soap, dear. Don't ever contradict me in front of the boy. <laughs> there, there, little hero. You get some sleep, okay? Okay, night, Mom. Nighty. Night, Tiger. <laughs> This teddy bear's picnic story isn't true. Uh, no, not exactly. Well, if you weren't helping out at the picnic, where were you last weekend? Hmm? You think I'm having an affair, don't you? An affair? Oh, my God! Uh, you weren't thinking that? Uh, okay. I'm gonna be honest. I was out with a few of the guys from work and a few goblins, and uh, it started raining gumdrops, so uh, we happened into this wizard's tavern. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, we had a little bit too much do to drink, so uh, I thought I shouldn't drive. <laughs> well, you did the right thing by not driving, but you should have called. Well. You know, I tried, but it's the darndest thing, honey. Um, 
the wizard's leaf wouldn't dial out. Well, fine, but next time you should just try harder to get hold of me. You're right, sweetie. All right. Good night. Who's Doris? Doris, Doris, Doris. Yes. Um, do Doris. Doris. Oh, geez, a I woman don't... named Doris came to the house the other day and said that she'd been meeting you for some time in sleazy motel rooms and that she was now carrying your child and wanted to know what you were going to do about it. And I was just wondering who she was. Uh, I could see why you would be curious. Yes, well, she did pique my interest, yes. Honey, she's a goat. <laughs> She's a magical goat. And she delights on playing tricks on us mere mortals. I am so relieved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. Oh, don't feel like an idiot. <laughs> like an idiot. No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's normal. Oh, oh, you forgive me. <laughs> I do, oh, I do. Oh, I shouldn't be jealous. Yes, you should. 